From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. High temperatures will reach the mid 80s across the Bay Area today. Jason Adams will have your full forecast coming up. But first, though, I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. The FAA says the helicopter that crashed yesterday in Palm River, killing a passenger in a nearby truck, suffered a mechanical problem just last Sunday. Investigators say the chopper is nearly brand new, brand new and a very safe model. The pilot was forced to make an emergency landing when the chopper's engine failed. A witness describes what he saw. You could start hearing the blades. I turn around and I see the helicopter about like 20 feet above the air. Very scary. It was really close. It could have been us. The helicopter hit a utility pole, causing part of the rotor to break off and fly into a pickup truck, killing a 72 year old man and injuring his adult son. A food service worker at a Bay Area restaurant tested positive for hepatitis A. The health department is urging anyone who ate or drank at the Sandpiper Grill in Sun City Center between March 20th and 24th to get a vaccination. Hep A is a highly contagious illness that attacks the liver. USF professor Kathleen Moore is using a $2 million grant to help fight the opioid epidemic. She's studying a device called My Safe RX. Addiction centers can prescribe medications that can be put into this device, and then patients can access it remotely, but only with a code. Clients coming in to detox um, or to jail or to residential, which are really high risk settings, when they step down, from those settings, then they're at the highest risk for overdose. And so we want to really try to think about ways to reduce that. And this is one of those ways. USF is recruiting patients through the agency for community treatment services in Tampa. You are one step closer to seeing cars without drivers. The State House panel approving a bill to allow safe self-driving vehicles without a backup driver. It paves the way for companies like Uber and Lyft to deploy fleets of driverless cars. A real driver using one of the cars would be exempt from texting while driving laws while the automated system is on. Expect a whole lot of traffic in downtown Tampa this weekend due to the women's final four events before the games on uh, today and then on Sunday. There's a free party on the plaza with food and interactive games and then tomorrow night you can see fireworks and a free Gavin DeGraw concert at Curtis Hickson Waterfront Park. Jason, we're hoping that the weather is going to hold up for it. Yeah, it looks pretty good this weekend, but it's going to be hot and starts with this afternoon. A mix of clouds and sun after all that morning rain we had. Temperatures will make it into the upper 70s and low 80s right on the water, but you don't have to travel too far inland to see temperatures jumping up into the mid 80s here at the Nature coast low 80s likely I think these numbers may be a bit too high given the cloud cover that's been lasting for a few hours longer here into the early afternoon up north but down south I think the numbers are right on par because we've had more sunshine in these areas here so mid 80s at the water and upper 80s inland near 90 degree high temperatures if not hitting 90 degrees both Saturday and Sunday along and east of I 75 it's gonna be a hot weekend to you all right, thanks, Jason. Tomorrow and Sunday, you can go fishing with your kids and you don't need a license to do it. Florida is offering eight free fishing days throughout 2019. This weekend is for freshwater lakes, ponds and reservoirs. You'll be able to fish in free and salt water on June 1st and 2nd. You can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app to receive breaking news alerts. This ABC Action News update is brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. Drivers, pass bicyclists safely. Allow a minimum of three feet between you and a bicyclist because safety doesn't happen by accident.